A good Wednesday to you, everyone. Hope you're having a blessed day, getting ready for Thanksgiving tomorrow. Hopefully there's a, a lot on your plate to be thankful for, and uh, remembering that God is good. But uh, there's something I wanted to talk about as we kind of move forward in uh, understanding this relationship we have with Jesus Christ. Jesus said in John 14, 15, if you love me, you'll obey my commands. That harkens on to the very same thing that uh, he asked of us when he was about to ascend back into heaven and he gave us the great commandment. And he told us to go and uh, you know, preach to all nations. And then he said, and teach them to obey everything I have commanded you. And also later in John chapter 14, he said, if you love me, you'll do what I say. There's this theme that Jesus attaches to how we express our love to him. It's not just an emotional feeling that we have, but it's an act of obedience towards him and the things that he asks us to do. And his commands, he said, uh, elsewhere in scripture are not burdensome. That means they, they don't place a heavy weight on you. And I think that's because he knows that whatever he asks of us to do, that's good for us. It protects us, it provides for us, it's meaningful to us. And we don't always understand that in the midst of struggling to choose to obey or disobey. But we always seem to see it at the end of the story after we have done whatever we're going to do, whether we followed him or disobeyed him, we tend to see the outcome of being obedient. So I wonder why we struggle so much to obey when we always see that it works out the right way when we choose to obey. So today, I just want to encourage you, if you want to give thanks to God for the life that you have, then do what Jesus asks. If you love me, you'll do what I say. And what he says is always good for us. God bless you. Have a great Thanksgiving. Talk to you later.